Is that water? Nah, vodka. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid erection seat. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And today we are almost finished with the second season of Me Support. Uh, episode nine. Uh, this one's called, it's a really difficult word, butterscotch. Yeah, I, that, Corbin I. Uh, this is like, I think the only English one. I guess. I guess there's no Hindi word for butterscotch. Well, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, in English, there's a lot of words they've incorporated from the English language into Hindi, so. Uh, we should look it up to see yeah. what it means. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Butterscotch. Go. It's a type of confectionery whose primary ingredients are brown sugar and butter, but other ingredients are part of some recipes, such as corn syrup, cream, vanilla, and salt. There you go, everybody. My nice. contribution. Nice. I'm glad we looked that up. Uh, I like <clears throat> Butterscotch drops to suck on. Those are tasty. You like stuff to suck on. <gasps> Burn. Uh... And just to let everybody know, the right stuff. <laughs> as always, in case you're just joining us on the ninth episode of our reaction to the second season, uh, I can only use five minutes of the episode per episode per Amazon. It's a copyright thing. Those are the rules. Uh, it's almost like you're introducing a UFC match. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say it every single time. Um, but yeah, I can only use five minutes of the actual episode uh, cut up. Um, so that's all you get to get on YouTube. If you'd like to see the full uncut versions of our reactions, the hour-long reactions of each episode, head over to Patreon. I have all of them over there, so go check those out. Alrighty, let's just get into it. We're almost done with this thing. Alright, ready? Three? Yep. Two? One? Has it been nine months? What? I guess it has been now. That's a time jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ramsey Bolton right now. <laughs> I mean, he's got, what, 20-something years on him, I'm pretty sure. Who does he look like? The grandpa. Bosley, <laughs> <laughs> If I'm going, I'm going like that. Yeah. It's almost impossible to drown yourself. I guess if you're tied up, that'll do it, but Yeah, it's the fact that he has his hands tied behind his back. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise just instinctively it couldn't it You <laughs> peaky Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not what Tripathy expected. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice, subtle little message. Try to touch her now, Muna. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why she stayed in connection with Muna, was because of the power connection? Probably. She was always playing the long game. Well, now she gets chlamydia, too. <laughs> What's Robin doing there? He's gonna ask if he can marry. Him. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody picked her up or she's hiding. Why do I feel like Moon is on the other side of that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, don't do it. Just run. She's, Dang. she's, she's I can't a, tell. She's a virgin, isn't she? We're here for sex. <laughs> I think she's just in no pain. Kissing, just lash me with your belt. 
I think she's in pain. I think she wants to f- not feel Mario sad. That's exactly what it is. I mean, Why he's going through with this is really amazing. Yeah, this, she, is, this is about her pain over the fact that she's in love with Gudu and she has no other way to... I don't, even know if she's, I don't even know if she's in love with Guru. I, I think she was. I, I really do. Notice she didn't make a sound. Intense scene. I liked it. Yeah. Very powerful scene. Yep. Control Amare hi pasta. Enjoy Amare hi Great writing. Great writing. Yeah, but you weren't seeking revenge, Guru. She's right. If you're seeking revenge, your affiliations make you weak. They're your vulnerabilities. Well, he just slept with her, so I think he's loyal to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Either, either he's gonna try to kill Gudu and uh, uh, what's her what's her name? I always forget. Uh, or they're gonna try to kill him now. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. She's that strong, dude. Oh. Well, now you're gonna have to kill my bull. You just killed his gra- his his mom. He's yep. not ge- he's not gonna be so loyal anymore. Nope. I think you just made an enemy you didn't want to make. Yep. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Who's gonna kill Muna? <laughs> so yeah. many people want to. So many people want to kill Muna. It's not a matter of if these people are gonna be killed. It's who's gonna kill them. Yeah. Yeah, and McBoom may go after Muna. As he should. That's who. If I'm McBoom, that's who I go after. Is Muna. Yeah. But then you know you have to kill the others because... Yeah, they'll come after you. This is gonna... I think we're gonna have a bloody, bloody, bloody conclusion to this season. <laughs> is it gonna happen now? Oh, shit. <laughs> He's straight up walking into the house. Oh. oh. Great ending. Or you, could, or you could just take it as he's going back to work. I think he's gonna do it, but he's gonna yeah, do no, it. No. He's gonna do it in secret. Like he's gonna pretend I'm still loyal to you. And then once everything goes down, I mean, I, I yeah, last, no. I mean, last episode. I mean, the grandfather has to die. He has to, like, he has to die, uh, like brutally. Like it needs to be the worst death we've seen on the on the on the on the whole show. And then. I don't know who's gonna kill Muna, but somebody's killing Muna. Uh, <laughs> like somebody has to kill Muna. It's it's either gonna be Gudu, it's gonna be um, a McBull, it's gonna be. I mean, it could be his wife. I mean, it, it could be his wife. Yeah, there's so many people it could be. Uh, but no, yeah, McBull's not showing up to work. McBull is walking in with that weapon in that hand, with that walk to do some damage. And he is already in his mindset of this ends with me dying, so we're all dying together. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to do it right away, though. Like, I don't think he's going in there right now to shoot it up. I do. I think he's walking in. No, to I think kill everyone he can. I think he's going to wait and do yeah. it at the precise moment. Yeah, um, no, I think he's walking in and he's just going to shoot everybody he sees. <laughs> he's gone Rambo. I think that's what they want you to think, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I mean. It, <laughs> It'd be sweet. I mean, McBull, you always felt like 
he sh- he probably should be running uh, Mizapur. Uh, That's what I meant. That's what I meant in that sequence when Gul- Gulo was gonna uh, shoot uh, Lala. I was like, shoot Lala on the head. I'm waiting for somebody to flip a switch and just go Rambo. Well, on you, everybody, you have to think Gul- uh, uh, Guru. I mean, he's you don't know what's happening with him like he obviously like like she was saying he he's kind of getting compromised he's not focusing he on the, he's not well he says he's focused on the prize but he's kind of like there's now this little girl who he's you know he's kind of replaced this this uh new girl and this daughter with the ones that he lost and he's yes. tr- trying to replace it all to to so he doesn't have to feel that pain and obviously she's dealing with the pain in a completely different way it's it's great writing because guru's revenge guru's revenge um isn't about um getting vengeance for the deaths he, what he's wanting i think his genuine want is I want my family back and you took it from me and the vengeance was going to appease that in some way but he's actually getting to appease that sense of I want my family back with this little girl and the widow that he's now in love with so it's taking the edge off of his focus because his focus wasn't just pure eye for an eye kind of mentality it was I want my family that you took away so Uh he's she's I thought she was 100% correct yeah. uh, not only in the fact that he's losing focus but he's now making things more dangerous because having affiliations makes you vulnerable because the enemy's going to go if I can't get him directly where can I hurt him indirectly and that's going to be through that kid and that's going to be through that girl he didn't yeah. have that before no yeah he had pure clean associations up to that point yeah and so you you got to wonder what's going to happen I mean and I don't know if they could go full on Game of Thrones and kill that many main people that's that's like 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 let's say you kill muna and you kill guru right that's like the red wedding that's like killing rob stark and 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 yes that's that's next level like show because you that's it's you don't usually kill off your main characters (laughs) Correct. <laughs> unless you're doing unless you're doing one of two things. You're either going Game of Thrones where you're just breaking with uh, tradition, or this was a two season show from the outset. Maybe, but I I think I think it's through because there's so much that they need to. They can't clear everything up that we need to in one episode left. They could if they kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just everyone's dead. The, just the, everybody just or, collapsing. or the bomb tries to go off and they 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 mess it up a couple times and. <laughs> yeah, I, I am expecting, and I, I could be way off. I'm expecting a lot of people to die here. I'm expecting. I'd be uh, kind. I'm, I'm expecting two or three main characters to be killed off here. I I'd be kind of upset if the grandpa does not get a brutal murder. Yeah, like right now, if McFool walks in and shoots him in the head, I'm really disappointed. Yeah, I don't think he deserves to kill the grandfather. He could kill Muna. I don't. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I, I'd be kind of upset if Tripathy dies, just because I love watching um, Tripathy work. Me too. I, I don't want him to go because his character. I want, and I'm going to be very sad. I think McFool's gone too, and he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I, that's that's one of the bad things. Like that's one of the great things about Game of Thrones is that they didn't care that you loved yeah. these characters. Same same thing with Muna. As much as I want that character to die, yeah, it's going to be sad when he does. Wanna, yeah, I don't want to lose that actor's portrayal. He's been so, he's been the soul of the show. He's been one of the main contributors to the greatness of the show. Yeah, and then. Great scene from Gulu, Gulu, Gulu right? Gulu, Golu, her? Golu, Golu. Yeah. Um, the the sex scene, um, where Great essentially, scene with BJ? Where, well, unexpected, obviously, but where she was just like, "Do you want to have sex with me?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah." I mean, yes, 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 ma'am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then 
<laughs> she just beat her because obviously she was dealing with this pain of one still dealing with the pain of losing um uh, i forget his name and her sister uh yeah. but also dealing with whatever feelings she's having with uh guru like because yeah. i uh, i think that scene was true when she asked me why don't you want me to get close to him she was like i don't know I don't know. I think that was, I think that was true too, and I, I don't. I think also it was very, very intelligently written because, on the one hand, it may be she wanted to hurt on the outside because she was hurting inside, but it also can be, she's wanting to be whipped because she wants to feel something. She has so numbed herself, because of the trauma she went through, that she literally needs to feel something. Yeah. So she was like, I, I'm yeah, gonna feel, I'm gonna writer. feel, I'm gonna feel pain. I'm gonna have sex. Get that release. Uh, this show reminds me so much it's a completely different show but the kinds of things that the characters are going through are very similar to the kinds of things that characters in Game of Thrones went through and Breaking Bad yeah um, yeah I feel like they're they're doing a great job and this season has a lot more character development of everyone everybody like, like I it's think they really actually rich toned down some of the violence this season massively i think yeah like it la last season obviously there was a lot and there was obviously great acting great story last season we're not saying there wasn't but they've no. definitely decided that this season was going to have even more depth of all the characters it reminds me again of what game of thrones did when game of thrones started there was a lot of gratuitous sex that had yeah. nothing to do with the propul propulsion of story yeah. It was just, hey, did you watch the Game of Thrones episode? Because there was this naked sex scene, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the deeper you got into the storyline, they they didn't have time to throw in gratuitous sex. All of the sex scenes had points. Until the it last was, season, and they just didn't give a yeah. shit. <laughs> it, was, it was manipulation. It was, it was conquest. You know what I mean? So I think the same things here. The violence now is not just for these creative bombasts where you go, oh, wasn't that cool? It all now has really deep meaning behind all of the violence yeah yeah. Ooh. yeah oh it's so good it's so good so good i'm so sad there's only one episode left um of at least of this season and we don't know when the next one is coming obviously i'll be i'll be i'll be really upset if there's only two seasons to the show yeah that would be sad there seems to be a that lot would, that, that needs suck. that needs to be wrapped up that they don't think they can do in one hour long episode um but Whatever. Uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut versions of our reactions to each of these episodes, head over to Patreon for our exclusive Patreon babies. Um, the, those are there, and there's... Uh, by the time you see this, we've seen the last episode um, on, on YouTube. By the time you've seen this, the last episode's already up on, on Patreon. So, um, go check that out, and on the last episode! Dina, <laughs> <laughs>